1989. It's where my grandparents stepped in and took me out of my dad's house on uh, Christiana and 29th, I believe. A lot of people have said that I had the, uh, the address wrong, but uh, I think it was 30th and Christiana. Oh well, stay off the drugs. <laughs> 1989, 59th Street, when my grandparents took me in. Back then, that neighborhood was white, Polish, and Arabian. There were Mexicans starting to move in, but very, 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 not that many. I went to Tanti School in seventh grade. In my class, there was only two Mexicans, me, Armando, you guys have heard of Armando Chocolate, he's doing a life sentence right now. And one Puerto Rican cat named Shorty. Claudia had two brothers. They were uh, founders of the KGBs. Crazy get down boys. It's crazy how I have a connection to a lot of gangs in Chicago. <laughs> Who would figure? And a city known for its fearsome super gangs and criminal enterprise the street where you live defines who you are not your race this is gang life Cartel got me working for the big faces Federally got my car full of brick cases Hit the pen with a grin, there ain't no faking Eyes picked to my back for my shoelaces God out, shoulda seen the look on they faces All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper Set up by the crew, they done put a banger In the trunk of my car and left me to hang there No thing, then attorney went and beat the case Got a job digging holes for minimum wage Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing Quit the drugs, but you know I went back to selling Six times failing, I went back to prison Got my head right, got my bread right Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe Trying to do right, I got a mission Trying to get back to my boys in the prison The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision From wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong from wrong to, to strong From wrong to strong What's up, JC? You already know. If you're new to my channel, subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. Leave a comment. I'm going to be doing this for a while so get used to it if you are part of my ron strong family welcome back i love you guys what's up raza suance la suburban let's put some gas in it so we don't end up in the wrong hood yes today today we're going to talk about the crazy get down boys kgbs their colors are black and purple so i wore my purple ron strong shirt i saw the birth of this now gang it wasn't a gang when it first started in 1989 it started as a party crew and it was really really known for its parties and um i want to say <laughs> battles and dance-offs that we had uh back then yes i used to um i used to dance i used to battle He's seen that uh, a movie, uh, Breakdancing, right? Well, you know that uh, in those times we were, it, it was the time where breakdancing kind of like, you know, it, it passed its time and then the running man and all that stuff came in to, 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 to I guess, our history. And uh, we started still, we were battling, you know, it was, it was, it was a, a, a very good time for Latinos. <laughs> You know, freestyle, uh, you know, classics and, uh, you know, little Susie and all that stuff. And um, we were battling. We were, uh, you know, we were dancing and, and seeing who was the baddest dancer. <laughs> yes, I was a dancer. So, uh, 
Yeah, you know, the crazy get down boys. I saw their birth. Uh, Claudia's two brothers, Beto, and I can't remember the other guy's uh, uh, name, but he was older. They were one of the main, main, you know, uh, founders of the crazy uh, get down boys. Uh, G-Man, if I'm correct, was the, uh, the leader, but Beto and all them had a big uh, influence on that uh, party crew. Uh, things started going a little bit south with them because they actually started getting popular because, you know, people love, in those days, people would love to dance, parties, house parties were in style, so they threw some crazy ass parties and, and people started to, uh, you know, really, really, uh, like them. And, but with that comes a big price, a big price of other organizations not liking you and in the Marquette area. You know, 67th and Kedzie, uh, uh, that whole area over there, 79th. My my um, my uh, grandparents had always lived in that area. They lived on 59th and Holman at that time, but before that, they had a house on 79th and Campbell. Uh, so I was always very familiar with that area. Marquette Park is a pretty big park, has a lot of history. Um, you know, one street pretty much divides where all the blacks are and then the, the other sites where all the Mexicans were moving into. Um, it used to be completely white. It was actually a very, very racist part back in the day where they were like lynching people and stuff like that. So it was, it was a big change in that year where everything was starting to change. And it was almost like I say up for grabs for gangs that were moving in from like 2016, 26th Street, 18th Street, and other neighborhoods that were moving in. Uh, there was already a gang that was already stationed there. It was the Ambrose on 63rd because, um, you know, most of their members were actually white when we moved into that area. Uh, Peter was in school with us. He was a, a big ranking member for the Ambrose. Um, he was Mexican, but I guess, you know, he had been living there for a while. Um, back in those days, from Kedzie to Pulaski was all Polish and, and Arabian, and from Kedzie down to Western was uh, predominantly blacks and, and Mexicans. Um, the crazy get down boys started to uh, to get pretty popular, like I said, because of the parties and everything that they, they were throwing. But that came with a price, and they started getting into a lot of conflicts with a lot of the other party crews and gangs, one of them being the guest boys. The, back, the guest boys were on 57th. Then uh, the tap boys, the tap boys were in the uh, Arabian gang also, the, uh, the Arabian posse. Later on, they started getting into conflict with really big gangs, so they actually had to turn into a gang because, I mean, that's how it all starts. You start getting tired of getting bullied around and getting picked on. And that's how you end up turning the gang. You start gang banging with everybody else. Um, I, I was there for the conflict that they had with the SDs because I was actually one of the founders of 59th Street. Um, it was me, Shorty, Malo, uh, Chocolate, Bean, uh, also, uh, we were the first, first members of 59th street. Um, and, um, you know, uh, we just didn't like that there was somebody on our block that was an outsider. I mean, that's the way I look at it now. It wasn't, he, they weren't really doing nothing to us or, or whatever. We didn't even have no beef with them. We just didn't like having an outsider in our on our block because they lived on on spalding and you know 50 58th so um you know they were uh, actually neighbors with malo and um and that's how the whole conflict started but the conflict with the sds really didn't start until let me see i was a freshman in gauge park so i want to say 89 90 91 was when the conflict started with the sds and i was just because of that like we we started bumping heads with them a lot because we were we would hang out on you know on Spalding and 59th and then we would go up to sometimes up all the way up to Marquette and 16th Street because we had beef you know with the Ambrose 
and then the two six started to move in so then we started fighting with them and uh it, it that's all it was i mean to be honest with you it, it all it was was having an outsider on our black that with did not want to choose sides because for a long time they didn't even want nothing to do with no gangs they didn't want to choose sides they didn't want they they didn't even they didn't even want to be folks with people they just wanted to be a party crew they wanted to be left alone do parties and that's it but it got to the point where everybody was messing with them that they were just like they were done they were done and they actually uh grew pretty fast in that whole Marquette area. They have Purple City, they have uh, Crazy Town. They have a lot of hoods in that area. And they, in those years, they started to spread out, but then it kind of like slowed down and just stayed where it was at and stayed in that area. So, you know, um, like I said, I'm, I'm gonna pretty much highlight most of the gangs in Chicago. There are hundreds hundreds of gangs there's even new gangs that you know like came out of nowhere when i was in, in high school in morton east in uh cicero there was a gang that was born over there called the latin angels the la uh they were the majestics there were gangs that just popped out of nowhere that started as uh party crews and then you know involved into gangs so it's gonna get me take me some time to get around to all of them but this is, you know, what I call gang life, you know, just highlighting the gangs in Chicago. And, you know, like I said, I'm not not promoting them. I'm not I'm not nothing of that sort. My whole channel is about entertainment. It's about giving you guys a part of my life and how I grew up. And hopefully I get to change some knuckleheads uh, idea or perspective on what it is to actually be involved with these organizations and at the end of the day what it is i mean you end up dead or in jail and and that's it point blank there is no there is no plan c there's plan a and plan b and that's it point blank i lived it i did it and this is why i share my videos and what and i do what i do um highlighting the gangs is just to show you that they end up starting Everything started on a positive note and then ends up on a negative note when it has to do with groups of individuals having to prove themselves. Point blank. It is what it is. My name's JC. I am wrong to strong. Don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. Stay in your lane and live savage. Remember, you only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. I'll catch you guys on the rebound.